Good morning, sweethearts. It's uh, early again, but uh, for some of you, you've been up for half a day already as the sun turns around the world. It's very early here, but uh, some people have already started their days here in Europe. We're just getting cracking on ours. The sun is not quite over the horizon here. But it's going to be another scorcher. As days go. And let's see what we have on the cards today. I said I'd do the cards differently today. And I will. A slightly different way of showing you my little YouTube. And we'll see what the cards have to offer. We will start with... Would you believe the skunk for a reputation? Well, the skunks, they have a reputation, definitely. And not just because people are generally afraid of them. I mean, there's a tiny little animal. And they're actually quite sweet. And they're something like cats. Only uh, don't scare them because they're very stinky. And this is part of their reputation. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean bad or, uh, well... With skunks, I'm about the smell, definitely. But uh, when this card comes up, it's not about something stinky. It's about reputation. It's about what people think of you. It's about what people think about you. Or what you think about other people. And how you judge them, as well as how you judge yourself. It's about what you've done and what you do. And the general bent of your nature. So, do you have a good reputation? Do you have a bad reputation? Are you thinking about other people's reputations? Are you thinking about whether that company you're going to start working for is actually reputable? Many ways that reputations can be interpreted. And mostly this is about how do other people see you? How uh, do you come across? What is it that you do and what is it that creates your own reputation how do you want other people to see you how would you like to be known and what do you need to do in order to create the reputation that you want and also it can mean something that happened in the past that has caused people to think of you in a certain way and if it's something that you're not happy with it is something that you can change it is something that you can change. And for the second card we have, look, it's come up for the second time, a rabbit. And this is, of course, about fear. We've had rabbit before. So are you afraid of Mr. Skunk? Is rabbit afraid of skunk? When you put them together, you think, hmm. What is it that scares you about your reputation? What is it that you're afraid of? Are you afraid that um, people will see you in the wrong light? Have you done something that's going to make people see you in a bad way? Does this worry you? Today is, I think, a day not necessarily to worry, but to think very carefully about what you do. Certainly what you do in connection with other people, because it's going to be worrying and it's going to be upsetting. And it may be that it will cause a great big stink. And that is what you are afraid of. So watch out today. Today is a day for watching out. That's what these two cards mean together. So be careful. Be careful today. Don't let your fears ruin your own reputation. Or don't do something that is going to ruin your own reputation. And also... Watch the angst, watch the fear, because today it may be a warning not to do something that you think you might do that will upset somebody else. But also don't allow somebody else to upset you. Don't allow somebody else to frighten you. Don't allow other people to put you in a bad light. Skunk and rabbit. Now, as you can see, I've got the cards out and I'm going to do a little bit of a deeper analysis of them as we go on. So I'll show you the cards and off we go. Here are the 
card skunk and rabbit and skunk is also about how to assert who you are how to get people to respect you how to be attractive to others without overdoing it and how to handle your energy well use your body language well this is a personal thing this is a very personal thing and as for rabbit if somebody helps you or if your friends are good to you and you are afraid of them or you are nasty to them or you avoid them then of course they will stop being your friends and this won't be because they hate you but because you have pushed them away in your fear and this is also an interesting little thing to uh, keep in mind today thank you please like and subscribe